it's Stu Mack, and with the new news about FIFA 17 Pro Clubs being released, I thought now would be a good time to talk about my plans for FIFA 17 and do a general update on the channel. Now I'm sure a lot of you already know the new features announced for Pro Clubs, but I'll quickly just go over them for those that don't. Now this is all taken from EA's official website, so feel free to pause the video and read it in full if you wish. I'm just going to quickly summarise the main parts of it. So firstly we've got player growth, they've basically scrapped the accomplishments by the sounds of things and it's a, a different way to upgrade your player. Instead of upgrading your player through accomplishments like we have in the last few years, well every year pretty much since the club has been out, um, you're now going to get it based on your match rating you get in your game. So if you're a striker and you get like a 9 or whatever because you score a hat trick, that'll upgrade your shooting and things like that. And if you're a defender and you keep a clean sheet you'll get upgrading more in your defensive stats so it's more relevant to how you perform in game is how your player actually improves now which I think is it's a, it's a better way of doing it I think in my opinion but we'll see how it goes and next you've got your traits it's the similar traits to what you get on previous FIFA's on pro clubs but um, it's different how you unlock them now you unlock them with skill points which you earn from playing matches cup games and league games so if you want to get like a giant throw trait say for example that costs I don't know, five skill points, you'd earn them from playing games, and then you just buy it from this catalogue and then add it to your pro. Again, it's just a slightly different way of doing things, but it's probably better because then you can sort of choose, pick and choose which traits you want to get the ones you want quicker. And the next part is uh, customizable kits and badges. So, this is obviously something a lot of people have been asking for a long time, me included. Yeah, so it looks like it's just a very basic sort of kit creator. You pick your pattern of your kit and your badge, and you sort of just choose what colours you want it to be so have a bit of a play around with this and everyone will be making their own kits which is brilliant um, I don't know if you can upload badges or pictures or anything like that like you can in NBA but it's a start at least you can actually make a custom kit now which is good news yeah and it's the same for the badges you pick your your crest shape there and then just choose what sort of colours you want to go with it so again it, it looks like quite a bit of a, a basic way to make your badge but it's a custom badge nonetheless so we'll take it all day long after they haven't done anything for about six years so. And so in a nutshell it's custom kits and badges and a slightly different way to upgrade your pro. So there's not really an awful lot going on there, maybe there's more to come, we'll find out soon in the coming weeks I suppose before FIFA 17 comes out. But personally I'm just happy they've recognised that a lot of people do still play pro clubs. And even though it might be a small step, it's still a big... It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> even though it's a small step, it's still a step in the right direction in terms of things improving moving forwards. Now onto my plans for FIFA 17. Um, first things first, I will be doing the Pro Club's Road to Division 1 again when the game comes out. Uh, something I had brilliant fun doing last year. It was my favourite series for FIFA 16. It was always good fun making the videos, interacting with people watching it and playing the games as well. So, and Also there seems to be a very small amount of YouTubers doing it on YouTube, the, the Pro Clubs Road to Division 1. You see a lot of like Ultimate Team or Ultimate Side Road to Division 1s and things like that but with Pro Clubs it seems to get neglected a bit so I feel a bit of identity with my channel doing it. It's sort of become my th sort of theme on my channel so I really enjoyed it last year and I'm happy to do it again next year. Yep, yeah, so that will be coming back and next I was thinking about doing a Pro Clubs vs Sub series on my channel. Um, yeah, I seem to get a few people asking to play against our club on PS4 so I thought why not make it into a series, we'll sort of just, I'll, anyone that wants to challenge us will play you and we'll sort of just keep a tally and see who wins the most games, our club or the subs over the season. I thought that would be a good way to interact with the subscribers and if you are a YouTuber as well and you want a sort of a bit of a collaboration, that would be a good way to do it on Pro Clubs. I'll also throw some the back four in there in the middle of the season as well like I did last season. I might do it a bit earlier this year to try and just keep things fresh so it's not just the Road to Division 1 every video or Clubs v Subs every video. I'll try and keep things a bit more fresh like because I think that was one mistake I did make last year, even though I did enjoy doing the Road to Division 1, I did it too often, I, I need to sort of mix things up a bit and put different videos in between those ones. So yeah, I'll, I'll be bringing back the back four and it'll be a good way to keep things fresh on the channel. But that's sort of my thinking for what I'm going to do on Pro Clubs for FIFA 17 next season, or just FIFA 17 in general, but um, if there's anything else you want to see on this channel, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll take it into consideration if it's a good idea I'll do it. Now on to the update for the channel, um, I know my my uploads have been very inconsistent lately and there is a reason for that. 
So I apologise for that straight away. But yeah, basically, I don't know if anyone else who owns a PS4 has had this problem before. It sounds like a few people might have. But um, my PS4 has just been auto-ejecting discs the whole time. So you're like in the middle of a game of FIFA and it just spits a disc out when you don't press any buttons or anything like that. So obviously it's been difficult for me to record any FIFA, which is why I haven't done any Pro Clubs videos in a little while. It's annoying because it's sort of been doing it on and off. It, it won't do it for like a day and then it'll just start doing it all the time again. And touch wood, it hasn't done it for like a good two and a half days now. So I'm sort of torn between whether I should get a new PS4 or not which is basically like the problem here but it's something I will get sorted for FIFA 17 so it won't happen for FIFA 17 either if it does it again between now and the release of the new game I'll just buy a new PS4 but I don't want to buy a new PS4 if I don't have to because obviously it's a lot of money yeah that's that problem explained it's a bit of a shitter but there we go but um, yeah, lastly, I'd like to welcome the new subscribers to the channel because since I stopped uploading consistently, I've been gaining more subs apparently. I've gained like a good 30 or 40 odd. We're over 800 subscribers now, so yeah, welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you for being part of the channel. And yeah, things will get more consistent leading up to the new games. And yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. I thought it was necessary for me to sort of fill you in on what's been going on and what will happen leading up to FIFA 17 and beyond so like I say any comments you've got on video ideas or anything you want to say leave them in the comments down below I'll get back to you and that's it thanks for watching the video guys if you did enjoy it be sure to let me know by leaving a like along with any comments you wish and if you are new to the channel be sure to hit subscribe so you're notified when I upload my videos anyway that's it from me guys thanks again for watching I've been Stu Mech and I'll see you for the next one for nearly 20 years, this rugged, inspirational striker was at the very heart of English football. Look at centre forwards, he could do everything. He will make sure that he's in, right in the centre of everything. He was fantastically aggressive in the air. He didn't get pushed off the ball easily. You know, you hit the ball, you could shoot with both feet, you know, score all types of goals.